so today in this video we will cover how we can create a mic line center and what are the benefits of mic line center so that if uh, you are facing any difficulties as far as mic line center is been concerned so this is the complete uh, like mic line center tutorial i am creating in this video so you can take assistance from this video and uh, you can easily create mic line center and uh, the benefits uh, why we use mic line center and how we operate mic line center that i will uh, let you know in this video so as i hope like you can see my screen um, so this is the gmail id or uh, this is the gmail account which i have created just now so this is the email id which i have created uh, please make sure whenever you will create your uh, mic line center account so you have to use a fresh email id and uh, i have already created this email id so that i can uh, tell you each and everything from beginning onwards that how you will set up your uh, mic line center in short mcc so as i'm on google so i have to come first on new tab google.com i have entered in address bar here you have to write my line center this is the first link you will see google adwords mic line center you have to click on this link as i clicked on this after this you will get um, this is the adwords uh, page you will uh, get mic line center a page you will get so in this page uh, you can see this is the interface picture of uh, mic line center like this uh, you will get a mic line center picture so you have to first sign up here so i am doing sign up here sign up then it will ask you for uh, your uh, like beginning form you have to fill up just for uh, sake of formality so this is the name of my account so here i have to enter my account name so account name uh, please make sure write it in a correct way if you are creating mcc for a company so whatever request you will send to um, any other account this name will go over there your email id will not uh, go in request this name will go so please make sure that you have to mention your um if your company is private limited then or normal if you are working as a third party or you wanted you are uh, promoting your brand so please mention your brand name over here so as if now i am putting my client center so this is the name i have um, selected for my account my client center it will ask you like you have to choose from these two options so basically mcc we use uh, Uh, to manage other people account so i will choose this option only because uh, why we use mcc uh, i would like to share with you in this page only mcc we use like if we have multiple accounts to manage so we can manage all those account by using single email id with single login we can manage multiple account so this is our main goal to manage so if in case we are getting uh, calls from different different our uh, clients at the same point of time so uh, very easily we can move from one account to another without um, entering every time email id in adwords account so that's why i have chosen um, to manage other people account here is the um, country time zone and currency you have to um, select so as i'm from india so i have set it up india um, currency it will um, like automatically he took up uh, um, indian rupees and time zone is uh, plus 530 then i have to accept on terms and condition and this is i have done save and continue so i'm waiting for the next page so these are the steps which you have to follow um, from beginning onwards so like this it will proceed it's showing google adwords so now now i'm finally land to my client center it's redirected me to the my client center i hope you have seen in beginning that this is the email id which i have uh, uh put it up in uh, beginning uh, at the time of logging to uh, my client center so uh, this is i have done so now i am uh, redirected to the my client center page so what we have to do now let's say i'll assume one thing that um, i got two new clients and they want me to set up their adwords account 
and they have transferred their fund to my current account and from my account only I will uh, transfer fund in AdWords account. So what I have to do, I have to create two new account and by using this email ID only because this is the brand name, this is the email ID through which I am promoting my brand and I am providing management services. Be it Gmail ID, be it non-Gmail ID, you can do it by the same way which I have followed in the beginning. So let's create new AdWords account. So what we have to do now, we have to click on, you can see a tab here, a create account. So I click to create account, it gives you one option AdWords in drop down. So AdWords I have chosen. So in the beginning it will ask you for the name. So I would recommend better to enter client website. So it will be easy for you to check like uh, uh, which client account is this. So by website we can easily identify. So I am putting test1 my client name uh, website dot com. Just I am assuming so that uh, once you will do it for your client. So you have to mention your uh, website client website name here so that you can easily find out this is the client website and this is the account on which you have to find out details right and to inform clients so this is I have set it up time zone country currency which you um, get in single account also so it will ask you again this so I have um, normal by default settings I am accepting so it's a create now yeah done so you can see this is the one um, um, account and uh, is added here so which I have created just before so www.test1.com this is I have created if I click to this uh, link it will um, land me it will redirect me to the uh, single account interface so like this as you can see here so now you can see like I landed to the single account interface but it's MCC only you can see here it's my client center and um, like this is the account interface I hope you are aware of the uh, single account interface so like from here you can do the billing you can edit up your billing and from here you can create your first campaign and you can the way you create your single account you can do it from here onwards right so I'm just giving an overview for my client center if you want to uh, learn like how we can create AdWords account, how to do billing. So I would recommend you can see my other videos which I have created on the basis of topic. So you will come to know how to edit up billing and how to create campaigns and what are the basic basic things we have to monitor. We have to uh, we have to analyze at the time of uh, creating a new campaign. So parameters and all you will come to know in in those videos. So this is the my client center um, like uh, which I have created. So if I am again want to create a new account as I told you in the beginning. So let's take a case study for second account which I got. So from here you can directly land to the um, again on the home page of uh, my client center. So I click to this link my client center. It will redirect me again uh, take me back to the home page of my client center from where I can create um, another account for my another client right so as you can see this is the one if I want to create again and again for other clients I will do it again same click to the create account click to AdWords it will ask you the name I am assuming the name of my second client website test uh, testing to dot com again time zone country currency is same these are the checkbox uh, you have to click on uh, you have to uh, tick on these checkbox reason being if Google AdWords uh, provide uh, launch any offer so they will give you uh, those offer details in this mail ID of yours so if you will not tick you will not get any offer details so I would better recommend to um, click on these checkbox reason being if Google launches any offer any financial support any voucher code he is providing so he will mail you on your mail ID in case if you are not aware of this so you will uh, get details from your mail ID right so this is the mail ID in which you will get details for this these accounts right so you can check it out your mail also so this is the, again the second account I have created here testing to so again if I want to create if I want to make payment if I want to create campaign billing so I can do it separately in this account so these are the accounts which I am getting um, in MCC so with the single login with the single email ID I am creating multiple AdWords account and it's very too you, you, easy to use because I can navigate one account to another very easily so like this so like from here again you have to do billing and again you have to create your campaign from here if you want to again um, want to go again back to your first account so from here this is the drop down list which MCC provides 
jump to client by the name jump to client from here you can move it to any account whatever accounts you will create you will get a list of those accounts here and you can click easily you can move so i clicked on test1.com the my first account so without coming back on home page from here only i'm going back to my first account so it's very easy to manage and it's a very friendly interface google developers have created for third parties for freelancer it's free to use and no charges to pay to google or to any other company so i would recommend to use this and to make your company brand so by this name you will uh, send request to other clients so like this if again i want to move to second i will click on testing to and i'll uh, go to the second account of mine which i have created by the name testing2.com so like this i hope you uh, you are getting uh, what i am saying so you can uh, check it out each and everything from beginning one more thing i would like to say i'm coming back on the my client center page one more thing i would like to say this is the case when you will create a new account let's say let's uh, we take um, we assume that if one of the client uh, comes to you and says that uh, i have already created adwords account and it i'm running it from last one year and just provide me the management services because i am not getting fruitful result out of it from the promotion so what you have to do in this case you have to uh, link that adwords account because that client has already created that adwords account so what you have to do you have to link that account with your mcc and how we can do it i will i will share you just wait for a moment for that first of all i have to create uh, i have to log in to a single account so that i can show you how i can do it so in new browser what i am doing i'm coming on to the google page then i have to enter then i'm logging to the adwords account suppose this is the account which i have to connect with uh, connect with my mcc i have to connect so let's take it from here you can sign in so customer id in this single account will play important role i will let you know just keep watching this epcexpertclasses.com this is the single account so this account we are assuming that this is the client account and we are connecting this at uh, single adwords account with mcc account how we can do this that i am showing you in this video just now so finally i am land to the single account of mine it's open now so as you can see this is the single account um, it's a google adwords you can see here in mcc you will see my client center so uh, now what i required i just want the customer id of this adwords account so that on the basis of my customer id i can link this adwords account with mcc and in every single account google provides a different customer id so this is the unique customer id for this account so what i'll do i'll copy this uh, customer id from here i have copied at the right top you will see um, customer id this is the my customer id i'm showing you here this is the my customer id you can match from here so now what what i want i will go to the mcc you can see a link here link existing account i have to click to link existing account so it's existing account which client have already created what we are doing on the basis of customer id we are connecting with our mcc so this is customer id client id client account enter one customer id per line so this is i have entered here then after that it's asking for the client name again i would request you in the client name mention the website so i am mentioning here www.ppcexpertclasses.com the project name i am mentioning so uh, it will be clear visible to me that this is the website and this is the account i have created under this name so then send to request client approval i have sent it request client approval now you can see your invitation have been sent so my invitation is done so what i have to do then after this i have to go back again to my single account you will see a setting tab here then you have to click on account setting first you have to click on setting then the second option you will get account setting from there wait once we landed up on the page then only i can guide you
so we will land to this page only uh, preferences page and from here we have to go to the account access first tab you can see here account access i clicked on account access after that you can see here this is the um, details account access details you will see here ppc expert classes dot com at the rate gmail dot com it's me me means it's an administrative access admin access the owner of this account is uh, logged in by this email id and this is the my client center client manager requesting approval which i have sent it from my uh, mcc email id you can see here i have not like as i told you in beginning that only the name will uh, go once you will uh, send a request to any client so my i have entered my name over there in my in the beginning uh, in the name i have entered my client center it's showing me here so that time i told you that uh, better to use your company name or brand name so that they will um, like they can check it out your brand name whatever brand name you are using okay so this is the dummy which i have entered my client center only better to use company name or the brand name which you are using then you have to accept this request this is the pop up uh, will come this pop up says that uh, this is the um, like access you are giving to the third party and this is the api access um, which you are accepting um, this is nothing but the third party can only manage your adwords account he cannot change your password he cannot change your user id he cannot change your uh, uh, password email id and he cannot cancel your adwords account so like this this is agreement is all about so you have to just click on okay rest you can read it self once you will uh, try this so this is done you can see here it's showing actions here so then again we have to go back to mcc you have to refresh this page and you will see the third account here so like this by using one email id uh, like this this is the name which i have um, entered when i was sending request from this link so this is the account which i have connected once i click to this link you can see the same account here and from here you can manage your um, this single adwords account from your mcc so it's a very easy to use mcc so it's a very simple steps so i shared with you so this is the account of mine you can see which i have added up billing was already there because it's existing account client already running this account so i have added up here from in my mcc by using customer id so just wait for a moment let me show you so as you can see this is the billing which client have already entered so like this you have to like uh, connect your existing adwords account with your mcc and like this way only you can create uh, new accounts from your mcc right so this is the mcc if you want to move on from one account to another as i told you in beginning that from this jump to client drop down you can move it from anywhere so i am coming back again on to the page of mcc so like this only you have to create and a few more things in advance i'll share in my other videos so keep watching my video thanks for liking this video